to bond with family. Long road trips being one of them, but for this duo, they are taking that to an extreme. Austin Shang brings us the story from McGrath. Well, it's not uncommon here in the dog yard at McGrath to see brothers and sisters. Heck, you might even see fathers and sons on the same line. But in this I did a rod, I did a rod 51, we have a father and son mushing combo. Bailey Vitello is the younger half, even though the duo aren't doing it together. I really haven't seen him much, so I hope he's having fun and I'm having an adventure. They're still with each other constantly down the trail. We, we, we always intended on running our own race, you know? And uh, of course I'm thinking of him, you know, thinking of him. I hope he's enjoying everything that I'm enjoying and, you know, having a good run. And every time I go down a steep pass or I run in a buffalo or something like that, I think, oh, Jesus, I hope he doesn't, I hope he doesn't have the run that I just had. Father and son from New Hampshire aren't new to mushing, but they are new to the Iditarod Trail, both rookies. In all reality, it's going to be, a, this is the I've run furthest I've ever gone, 300 miles, and that just ends. So, I mean, I don't know. I've never even done a 24-hour rest and then gone again, so I don't even know what they're going to look like. I'll be honest, I thought Iditarod on their website was, I stopped reading, like, like the description or everything, because I'm like, this is just trying to scare us, right? You know, this is not going to be the case. This is, this sounds ridiculous. And um, it was actually worse. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like, wow, it was fun though. Both running into their own challenges. I broke my runner 80 miles ago, snapped it clean in half, and uh, yeah, that was a, an adventure. And Greg hurting his back coming down the Happy River steps, but the two have a knack for taking the race step by step. Kind of got emotional a couple times. It's like, it's happening. I've been wanting to do this for 25 years, and it's just as cool as I thought it would be. And while it may be cool, you never know what lies ahead for the rest of the race. To everyone thinks it's like always sunshine and rainbows, but the fact it is, it's mushing. Nothing sunshine and rainbows all the time. You're gonna hit some rocks, and it's okay because it's a, it's an adventure. I mean, we really are living a dream that was planted in my head at least from day one. Austin Shong, Alaska's news source.